Hey, real little quick video for you guys. Basically what I'm doing here, um, I was looking through my comments and years ago I did a video of how to test voltage in an electrical outlet. Just make sure that your uh, power source and your power flow and everything's good. Um, looking through the comments, I saw several, just numerous comments uh, asking how to test a light switch and come to think of it, that's actually a really good idea. So right here, I have a light switch it's live, obviously. It's a live switch. Notice how I'm only touching with one hand. Um, to test the light switch, most most problems people have are uh, when they flip up the light switch. Number one, nothing turns on. Obviously, I'm sure you know you, you check the bulb and make sure everything's good there. Second of all, um, sometimes you hear a buzzing, cracking sound in the light switch when you flip it up, and the light might be intermittent and it might not work. So ultimately, real simple test. Take your meter. You need a multimeter, or at least to do this properly, you need a multimeter. You set it to alternating current. So right here, the little wavy line, if, I don't know if you guys can see that. Right there, there's a little wavy line there. That's alternating current. That's AC. That's your typical house voltage, at least here in America. Um, typical house voltage, especially on a light switch like this, it's going to be 120 volts, give or take, because it is alternating. So it might be 119, 121, 125 somewhere in there but if you're in that ballpark of 120 you're good so in the off position if, if you're uh when you're testing this in the off position take one of your leads touch it to ground touch it to your hot wire here on the bottom let me move this over here on the bottom that the bottom is going to be your hot leg that comes through the top is going to be what goes to your light typically um it could i guess work in reverse but that's that's how i've always done it so this is a hot wire. This is a, this too is a hot wire, but it's only hot when the when the switch is on. When the switch is off, it this switch breaks the connection inside the switch. When you flip the switch on, it completes the connection. It completes the metal contacts inside, sends this power all the way over to this power, and then that goes to your light. So a real simple way to test this. Again, set your multimeter on AC current, touch ground, and touch the power. Let me turn that light back on. So you can see it, you should be able to see right there. Touch ground and touch your bottom leg. Make sure you have around 120 volts, which 119.12 alternating. So that's fine, that's good. And then in the on position, you touch the top leg. So we got the same voltage, so we know that switch is good. Now this is a good switch, of course. Um, so obviously, obviously uh, I can't show you a bad switch, but in the off position, you see only when we have five volts coming through. I hope, I hope you guys can see the meter there. But in the on position, we now have around 120. Perfect, 120.56 and so on. So you can see when you flip that switch off, the top leg is gonna read a real low voltage because it's not, because the switch is working properly. It's breaking the connection. Now when your switch is not working properly in the on position, if it's not working properly, you'll get a much less voltage, if anything at all. So if you test this top leg compared to the bottom leg, in the on position, if they're not the same, your switch is bad.